Welcome back to another Workspace Academy tutorial created by Media Agility, the premier Google partner for helping users and admins work smarter and get the most out of your investment in Google Workspace. In this video, we're going to cover the Security Center in the Admin Console with an introduction to the main components, the Security Dashboard, Investigation Tool, and Security Health. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe below. Let's get started. As you can see, I've navigated to the Security section of the Admin Console. This is where we'll begin and the focus will really be on these three main areas, dashboard, security health, and investigation tool, which make up the security center. So uh, this is extremely helpful if you're new to Google Workspace Enterprise, if you've recently upgraded or possibly you've inherited a uh, Google Workspace environment. Um, this is a, a great little overview of security center and how you can utilize it within your organization. First, we'll take a look at dashboard. Dashboard is your single pane of glass, in my opinion. Uh, gives you the high level overview of what's going on within your environment. You can take a look at what external file sharing looks like, authentication, uh, spam filtering, phishing attempts, malware, user reports, spoofing, suspicious device attempts, uh, compromised device events, OAuth grants, even down to your DLP incidents or, or top policy incidents. So you can really get very granular here, but this gives you a great place to launch into the uh, the next tool that we're gonna talk about, which is investigation tool. So right from here, if I do wanna dive a little bit deeper into one of these, let's see, we've got uh, some spikes on this spam filter. I can now view this report from the dashboard, launches the report, and I can take a much more granular look right here at March 24th, where we've got 351 suspected spam messages, Looks like 138 of them were the exact same message. So let's dive into that by launching an investigation. We're gonna launch right into investigation tool by clicking this little magnifying glass over here. And what that does is it, it highlights exactly that point in time, calls out all of those emails that we classified on the 24th, and you can simply see the log events and how that was uh, determined. You can build these investigations out yourself as well. But for the sake of this, we just want a, a quick high level overview. So now you can see everything that was surfaced from that dashboard, from that investigation is right here. If we need to take massive action because this is a, a phishing attempt or anything like that, we can simply highlight everything, dive in and delete all those messages, mark them as phishing, send them to inbox, send them to quarantine. Um, there's a lot more that you can do here we can dive right into the, the actual message itself. We can look at the headers, we can look at the thread, we can see the actual body of the message. You do have to justify the business needs. Uh, and this is simply, this is logged in your admin audit log. So it's a way to sort of watch the watchers, if you will. But now we can look at the actual body of the message to again, determine if this is a, a phishing attempt or if it's harmless. And then we can take action right here, delete, restore, mark as spam, or send a quarantine, uh, send to inbox, or send to uh, or Marcus Fishing. So this is just a another uh, excellent way to take action right from dashboard. Launch into investigation tool, and this is really just showing the the power of the remediation. You can find and remediate these issues. Now let's say I'm a little bit busy. I've got 138 spam emails that came in there that I got to dive through. I don't have time to do it personally. I need to I need to send this to somebody on my team. I can save the investigation. We'll call it spam, the description again, spam. Once that investigation is saved, now it is just like a Google Doc, sheet, slide, we can share it. You can share it with any other admin on your team simply by clicking the share button, adding them in the, adding them as a user, and then again, selecting viewer, uh, yeah, just like you're you're doing a, a, a doc, you can have editor or viewer, they can actually change the, the parameters of the search, or they can simply go with what you gave them and, and dive into the search results. So this is the investigation tool. The nice thing is we launched this from a dashboard, but again, if you need to simply create your own investigation, you can start from scratch with investigation tool. Choose your data source, choose your, your triggers, choose your, your log events, whatever you want to search through. Um, let's say we just need to, uh, for instance, Gmail messages. Now we can add a condition, we can add an attribute. Who did it come from? Does it have an attachment? Does it, uh, when was it sent? Those sorts of things. So we can really narrow down what we're looking for. Um, the nice thing is with investigation tool, now we can also create activity rules. So if there's something that you are looking for, 
looking for attachments being sent from a very specific person or, or whatever it might be, you can create activity rules and those will be alerted to you in the alert center. That's a, another topic for another day, but today just wanted to give you a high level overview of dashboard investigation tool. And now the third tool that we're gonna look at uh, within Security Center is Security Health. Security Health is an absolute great place to start if you're just getting onboarded with Google Workspace Enterprise. This gives you a high level overview of whether or not sort of your settings are best practices, are in compliance with best practices, and if not, it will tell you how to rectify that. So take a look at Security Health. You can see we've got a couple of things um, right here. It has a recommendation. So if you see this little gray star, you're going to be recommended on how to make it a little bit more secure, how to increase your security posture. This just says to reduce the risk of data leaks from public or shared computers. You can restrict offline access per organizational unit, or you can disable it for the entire domain. If I wanted to completely restrict offline access, that is going to reduce the risk of data leaks from public or shared computers. We don't use a lot of public or shared computers on our team, so that's not an issue for us. Uh, and now you can also go down here on Security Health and you can see things with a, a nice um, green check mark that gives you the warm and fuzzies. That simply means that everything is configured to best practices. You are secure, you are good to go. So that's just a, a very high level of dashboard, investigation tool, and security health. Those are the three main components of the security center within Google Admin Console. Uh, and again, this is a specific to Google Workspace Enterprise. So if you found this helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. For more Google Workspace tips, tricks, tools, and how-tos, please be sure to subscribe. And if you and your team want to get the, the most, get even more out of your Google Workspace licenses with guaranteed support times, expert advisory, proactive feature release updates, and more, all at no cost to you, contact Media Agility today using the link in the description. Till next time, here's to working smarter with Google Workspace.